me. Hey, everybody. It's Dawn at the Quilt Lady. So how's everybody doing tonight? Comment and let me know who all's out there. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the quilt behind okay. me, we've got back up Oh Happy Day yeah. and uh, or Oh Happy Days. And that is our block of the month. You can sign up this month and we can we will have a link uh, in the remarks. Clint will put a link out there and you can go to that and sign up for Oh Happy Days. So it's a block of the month. And so you'll get you actually get two blocks each month. OK, so we'll get into that here in just a minute. But um, you'll you'll get two blocks each month with that. Um, OK, so what do you guys think about the time change? I'm like, eh, I get start it pretty early. So comment and let me see what y'all think, because um, you kind of leave work in the dark, get home and I don't know. Anyways, it is what it is. So um, I do like the weather of the fall, though. I think that's uh, nice and cool. So I like that. So can you put out there, Bill, who else on so I can kind of see? OK, so we don't have Whitney with us tonight. So Clint's running it from her end and um, he hasn't done this in a long time. And so he and Bill are doing the stuff behind the scenes. So we'll see how good it goes, y'all. <laughs> Whitney, Whitney's got another meeting tonight. So, okay. So comment. Let me see who all's on. They're going to put it up so I can see you guys. Fine. Oh, there's Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Oh, how are you, Joyce? Who else we got? Okay, he's working on it. So I know we got Joyce and Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Good evening from OKC. Yeah. And from Kingfisher. Oh, Nancy Altman. Hey. Oh, from Wichita. Nancy's up in Wichita. So, Nancy, if you're out and about, you'll have to go by Fuzzy's. That's the, it's Fuzzy's Taco Shop over on Rock Road. And there's one over at WSU Campus. That's what Clinton Whitney own up in, the, in Wichita. So really good food. So you'll have to go by and see them. Oh, uh, there's Becky Young, Sealy, Texas. Yep, that's down by the coast, you guys. That's where we always we always go stay with Mark and Becky uh, before we go cruising. So good, they're good right down there by the coast. Uh, Kathy Turner. Uh, not a fan of the time change. I'm with you, Kathy. I'm not a fan of that time change either. Gets dark too early, doesn't it? I like the um sunshine out till nine o'clock <laughs> oh going to her granddaughter's baseball game yeah that's good oh basketball i guess i should have known it's not baseball <laughs> oh good good going to a basketball game susan Cooley gable hi from more oh good hey susan so and linda Oh, gosh. Well, you see me, I'm always happy, but my husband would say, oh, that's not always. <laughs> I try to be, though. I try to be. So we have choices, right? Might as well be happy than sad. So, okay. Are we are we ready a little bit? Oh, okay. I got to do all my stuff, my uh, stuff to begin with. Uh, more than just a fabric store. And so uh, we have long arm quilting. I do the long arm quilting. Uh, we also bind, so if you need someone to do binding services for you, we do that. Uh, my husband does machine repair, Bill, and scissor sharpening, okay? So he does those two. The embroidery, I do, and I have a friend that does that also. So anything you need embroidery on, uh, towels or uh, sweatshirts or whatever, quilts, whatever you need, labels, we can do lots of embroidery. We do sell AccuQuilt. We've got lots and lots of AccuQuilt, y'all. So uh, if you have never seen the machine work, come in and we'll love to give you a, a demo on that. Uh, love love the AccuQuilt. It's a very fast, easy machine. And then we make quilts. So we do lots of memory quilts or um, just whatever kind of quilt you want. We do quilts. So uh, have a pretty long list of people we're making quilts for. So it's not going to get done in a real timely manner, like in a month or so, because 
we've got several that we're making quilts for. But if you're interested, give us a holler and we can do that too. All right. What else we got? Oh, I'll give you my hours. So we're, we're closed uh, Sunday and Monday. We go to church on Sunday. Monday, I quilt. And so Sunday and Monday, uh, we're closed. Tuesday through Friday, we're open 10 to 5. Saturdays, 10 to 2. Okay. So now, Thanksgiving, which is coming up, what, in a couple weeks? Three weeks? Okay. So Wednesday through Friday, we're closed. So we'll be open that week, only Tuesday and Saturday. Okay. So Tuesday we'll be here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're closed to let our employees have time and us too with, with our family. And then Saturday, small business Saturday, we will be open. So, uh, and we'll, I don't know, we'll probably run a sale. We'll see. We'll see. It's just kind of whatever pops up y'all. <laughs> so, um, Okay, so Saturday, 10, 10 to 2. Okay, Christmas hours, Tuesday through Thursday uh, is 10 to 5. And then Friday, which is Christmas Eve, and Saturday, we're closed. Okay, so and then we're always closed on Monday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we'll, we're closed for Christmas. All right? Huh? Oh, he's telling me to quit bumping the table. Sorry, y'all. I'm shaking everything. Okay, then New Year's Eve, um, we're going to be, that's on a Friday also. We're going to be open 10 to 2. So we will be open 10 to 2 New Year's Eve, but then New Year's Day will be closed. Okay, we close New Year's Day. All right, so that's our Christmas hours. All right, what else do we have? Okay. Oh, okay. So now we'll talk about the block of the month. The what's here behind me? Well, you can you can see the whole quilt. Um, Bill's got it up on the side, but you can see like how big the like this is one. This is one whole block. This right here. That's one whole block. And then you see this. That's one block. Okay. That's a block. This is a block. So there's small blocks, and then there's large blocks. Um, Here's a block. This is one. So you may get, then this is a piece of a panel. So you may get this one big block and a small block to do or a couple small blocks. So in the, in the kit that you do, the block of the month, how that works is um, you have this, it's eight months. Okay. So every month for eight months, you will get a kit and it will have your fabric it will have the pattern and so you'll make that or that block and save back your pattern so you can put it all together put it in one of your uh, boxes which we have those uh, what they call them project boxes we have those two if you need some and um, so you'll do that each month okay and then it automatically hits your credit card each month okay so it, it goes out on a subscription type basis okay so then at the end as you can see the two lines down the pattern where the little x's are the little sunshine okay that is the borders so the borders are included in this okay so you will get that that'll be your eighth month and you'll get that in the rest of your pattern so it's a really happy um cute quilt i love it it you know it says oh happy day Let's see what some of the deals say here. Oh, happy day. It's not all sunshine and lollipops, but a good amount of it actually is. This one's old-fashioned things like fresh air and sunshine are hard to beat. And be the sunshine. And anything is possible. Find your happy place. So we've got all kinds of cute sayings on there. And it will make you happy. See, Just seeing it with the bright colors is really pretty. So uh, they'll probably at the end of the show, when Whitney can get back with us, uh, we'll drop a um, um, link into the comments so you can go and sign up for this. Okay. So you go uh, to Quilt Kits and More. Quilt, there it is. Quilt Kits and More uh, dot com slash product slash Oh Happy Day block of the month. Just follow the link. So just follow the link. If you click on that link, 
and then it comes up it's got bill and i's picture on there and so up in the top it will say shop okay over in the top uh, right hand corner and then hit shop up there and then it's going to come up and it's going to have your oh happy day or if you go to this it probably takes you straight to oh happy day okay it does he says take you to oh happy day so then all you have to do is follow the um deal and say you put one in your basket and then go to the basket and it will show you how to put all your information in and uh, everything. So those will be mailed out or you can pick them up. Okay. So if you want them mailed out, add the mail out fee. If not, then uh, we know that you're going to pick them up. Okay. If they need help, just call. If you, yes, if you need help uh, signing up or have any questions about it, be sure and call us and let us know. And uh, our number is 405-594-7845. Okay. So just give us a call and, uh, and just ask us and we'll be glad to help you or walk you through it. Okay. All right. So yeah, there's the number. So um, anyways, this we're going to do, we're, we are going to start shipping kits out now. And so if you've already signed up, you'll be getting your kit. So we've got some signed up. We'll be sending those kits out now for this is be uh, uh, month one. Okay. So then, but you'll have through the end of the month to sign up. Okay. What's next, Bill? Do you want to do the demo or you want me to show what we're um, doing? Do do? Let's do the demo first. Let's do the demo. Okay. I've got a demo to show you guys tonight. Okay. So I, somebody was it Joyce or asked last week about these, um, uh, stripology. And so we've got different, let me get these over here. Show. We've got different ones. We don't have the stripology, but we can get it. If you, if you truly want stripology, these that I have are called shape cut and shape cut plus they're a little less expensive more than a little less but anyways so we have we have different ones this one is called the perfect half square and quarter square triangle and i'll show you these here in a minute when we're when we're going through so that one is for for triangles this one's the shape cut okay so this one is 12 by 12 square 12 by 12 square and then this one is my favorite one it's the shape cut plus and this one is one uh, one. Of course, it's one. Uh, this one is 18 by 12. So 12 by 18. 12 by 18 for this one. And this is the one I'm going to demo with tonight. So the whole thing about shape cut. Pardon? Okay. Uh, the whole thing about shape cut is they have this one. You see a little bit of spotty because I've sprayed it with our grippy. So that's you know, it doesn't slide. So that's our grippy that you see the little smoky clouds on there because I just sprayed it. But this is the shape cut. It's a it's a plastic template. OK, and it's it's wiggly. It's got it's got slits every half inch, every half inch. OK, and um, they're wonderful for cutting strips. So the stripology is the same kind of thing. This one's made by June Taylor. And it doesn't have the, the only thing the stripology has that this doesn't, it's got the non-skid on the back. And then every two and a half inches, it has a square uh, on the bottom. Every two and a half inches, it'll have a square. And then every one and a half inches, it has a star. Okay. Well, what I did is I took the top of, this one's, this one's not mine, but um, I took the top and I wrote out here, just so you are, don't have to think, you know, one and a half, three, four and a half, six, and just go by one and a half up here and then two and a half, five, seven and a half, all the way across. Yes. Don't you love it, Sherry? I love mine too. It's so fast. If, I, if I'm at home and I have my AccuQuilt up here, then I always use the Stripology, this, this Shape Cut Plus. Okay. All right. So let's go to overhead, Bill. I'm going to go to the overhead camera so you can kind of see how this works. Okay, so you're going to take your fabric, and I've just got, I just picked out a yard of fabric. And, of course, if 
if you're like me, you know that the diagonals make great uh, binding, right? Diagonals are always really good for binding. They give it lots of interest. So I always take and fold, fold or have the fold at my, towards my belly. Okay, so the fold here, and then you're going to fold it up. You're going to fold it in half. Okay, and so you want to make sure, don't try to, don't try to put these two in straight. What I want you to have straight is this, where it lays flat. Okay, because see if you put this like this, see how that goes up? And it's all wonky. So if I put that like that, it would be all wrinkledy down here. We don't want that. We want that bottom fold straight. So pull that straight up. And then we're going to we're going to make this straight at the end, okay? So you want it nice and flat. Nice and flat. Okay? So put it on your cutting mat. And so here again we've got the fold that we started with is up here. Now we have a bigger fold that's down here towards us, towards our belly, okay? All right, so then you're going to take your mat, and I, like I said, I sprayed mine with the grippy. See if you can see that, the grippy. It's the non-slip coating. Okay, and we've got, and I, what I do is I put it, I line it up down here at the bottom. See the zero? I line that line up on my fold. So I want that on my fold. And then this one up here should look, it's probably not going to end up right on the fold, but you can see how much is up above the fold, and that needs to be the same, okay? So then you know your, your square. Okay, so we're lined up on the square, or lined up on the line, and see how I've moved this way over? So my fold, I don't know if you can see it, my inside, the end, end of the piece is right here, okay? It's right here. So I'm going to take and cut that and, and uh, square that up, okay? So you're just going to hang on to the end of the um, deal. I always take my cutter and I kind of slide, down here is a teardrop. So I take it and kind of set it at the side, put it in the hole, and then lean it up, okay? So take it from the side, put it in the hole, and then lean it up, okay? And you're going to cut. Okay, and then that's going to cut the that's going to cut the um, edge. So we're going to cut these in two and a half inch strips so we can do uh, binding. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go in here and we're going to do two and a half and five. Okay, seven and a half and ten and twelve and a half. And 15 and 17 and a half. This just goes to 18, okay? All right. So then we're gonna move our deal. This is gonna be trash, okay? This is this is the piece that we cut off to straighten our edge, okay? So then we're gonna just stack up our two and a half inch pieces. Okay, so right here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven we got seven pieces out of that okay so seven will do you probably need about nine to cut a queen size but seven that's in one strip one cut and you didn't have to remeasure so when you're ready to start back again pull your fabric up here make sure your end is square okay you can square it off again if you need to but this one's square so i'm again going to line up this line at the bottom and then this line is lined up here, okay? And then we're going to do two and a half and five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen, and seventeen and a half. Okay. Now how fast was that? And we've got binding all made up, all the two and a half. Okay, now let me show you something. Um, say you're going to uh, do a pattern and they want you to have like 200 half square, or 200 um, two inch square or two and a half inch squares. Okay, or you can do the half square triangles. But 
So you would take your take your strip. We've just cut them like this, right? Okay, so we've just cut these like that. So we're going to unfold that and turn it this way. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn it that way. We're going to put our ruler back on, on the top, line up the zero with the edge of the ruler on the zero. Okay. So line up the strip with the zero. I think I said that all twisted, but sorry. So line up your zero with the, with the um, edge of your strip. Okay. Come back in here in the zero. You're going to cut off that. You're going to cut off that salvage. And then you're going to come in. You're going to two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half, fifteen, and seventeen and a half. Okay. So we get rid of get rid of our little salvage, and then we've got our our squares. Okay. So here's all your two and a half inch squares. And you can come back in on your end pieces and line it back up and do another two and a half, okay? And probably we can cut this out or lay this out. If you've got several strips, I would probably iron it first, but okay. And then lay that back down, line it up another two and a half and you've got one more piece out of it okay so out of that strip we had two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen seventeen two and a half inch pieces y'all seventeen pieces and it was that fast and if you know you can always layer layer these two so if you wanted, if you was doing a whole bunch of two and a half inch strips, I would, if you don't mind cutting through multiple layers, I would probably put two or three layers, get these up here like this, two or three layers together. And then, so say you're going to do two layers and then I would, I would line these up on the mat. Okay. So line them up on the mat. So they're straight. You can do your layers together. So say we're going to do two each. And then you can come down here with a third set. <coughs> okay. Come down with a third set. And line them all up. And then put your ruler back on. Line up your bottom, your bottom strip. And then just come up and cut through all three layer or all three strips and then you'll have multiples of your two and a half okay all right so that is the great thing about the shape cut plus and the stripology rulers is the fast easy way um, to cut yes terry everybody cuts two and a half inch strips you can cut those for your own jelly rolls out of your out of your leftovers you can cut what fabric you have some, some of the people I know take all their leftovers uh, after they get done quilting and they put everything into two and a half inch strips. So when they get ready to make something else, everything's already cut up into two and a half inch strips, put it in a shoebox and you're ready to go. All right. Or if you want to do two and a half inch squares, do it the same way. Do your strips and then cut your squares. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Bill's going to put us some trivia. Okay, you guys, just a few things. If you have won trivia before, which we just started last week, if you've won trivia before, which I think, didn't Kim win it last week? Kim Myers? I think she did. I think Kim won it last week. I don't know if she's on tonight, but if you've won, you can't win for a, again for a month, okay? So you got to give everybody a chance. All right, so Kim, you're, you're not able to to win tonight but we have another trivia question for you and so if you haven't been with us we started doing trivia and um just so you guys can learn a little bit more about the quilting world okay so i've got it uh yes she said she did win okay so we've got another another question okay he's not ready to put it up yet but 
if you haven't been with us, then we do this trivia question and um, I'll give you, I'll read the question to you twice and then I'll give you the answers, okay? And it'll be a multiple choice. So if you get the answer right, then you can pop it up there and we'll, and you're a winner of a $10 gift card. Okay. And if you know it before I pop the answers up there, then you're smart. <laughs> and I think Kim did that last year or last, last year, last week. Uh, she popped the answer up there before we even put the answers up there. So good for you, Kim. So it's good to know, it's always good to learn, right? If, if we're learning then our brain's working, if we're, if we're stagnant, that's when we start having troubles. So, okay. All right. Yeah, we're ready. Okay. So Bill's fixing to pop the question up. And so whoever's the first to answer, you got to type it out on your screen, then uh, they'll win a $10 gift card. All right. You got it? Okay. Flower and feed sacks featuring geometric or floral designs did not appear in America until what decade? Flower and feed sacks featuring geometric or floral designs did not appear in America until what decade? Oh, we already have a winner? I didn't even get to. Debbie Rice. That's right. The 30s. The 30s. So I'll tell you a little bit about. The oh, man. A lot of right answers, he said, but Debbie was the quickest. Fast fingers, Debbie. <laughs> okay. Okay, Debbie, we'll have a $10 gift card for you, and I'll, I'll have that made. I'll probably make it tonight or tomorrow and get you the code, okay? All right, so the I want to tell them about the 30s just a second. So the 30s, if you guys come into the shop, we have a whole section of 30s fabric, okay? We also have a section uh, that's within the 30s that's called flower sacks. So used to in the old days, they had the, I say the old days, they had a uh, flower they you bought in the feed sacks. And so the flower sacks all had little girls or some kind of design on it. And some of them were printed, but they was all really pretty colors and kind of smaller prints, which is like the 30s and the feed sacks uh same way so that's how we got the the question is the feed sacks and stuff all came about in the 30s so good job debbie okay right, we'll we're good okay we're going to start with the rulers he says so we're going to show you some of the products that we have tonight and oh that's not the rulers Okay. He's finding the ruler slide, y'all. Like I said, if you just joined us, uh, we're doing this on our own tonight because Whitney is in a meeting, and so Clint and Bill are, are behind the scenes doing this. Clint's in Wichita. He's up there with Nancy, and, uh, and uh, Bill's here. So, okay. Do we not have the rulers up? Okay. That's okay. I'll just show them the rulers. Okay. We don't have a slide on the rulers, but I'll show them to you, you guys. Um, the first one is the half square and quarter square triangle. Okay. It's called the perfect half square or quarter square triangle. So as you see there in the little, in the little demonstration here, you're going to sew your, your half square and quarter square triangles. And then you see this, this line in the ruler that's there, you're going to line that up with the ruler and then cut. And it's got the slits in it, just like this does with the shape cut, okay? That's the um, slits, just like the shape cut. So let's see if I can show you the demo there. You can see the demo. So this goes uh, from the center out to six and a half inch. So from this center out to six and a half, it goes out to six and a half, which is here, okay? And you can cut your um, half square and quarter squares. Okay, so this one is $28.99, y'all, $28.99. And you would comment mine half, mine half, okay? So that's the half square. 
If you guys have any questions on any of these, just put them out there and I'll try to answer them. Okay. All right. The second one is a shorter version, a smaller version of the one I showed you tonight. Okay. So this is a 12 by 12 square, 12 by 12 square. It does the very same thing as what I showed you tonight, just smaller. Okay, so instead of going all the way out, oops, goes this way. Instead of going all the way out to 18, your your uh, teardrop cutting holes you have up to 12 inches. Okay, zero to 12. All right. So this one is going to be mine. What do you want them to say? Mine 12. Mine 12. Okay. So this one's mine 12, and this one is 47.99. $47.99, and that's for the 12 inch uh, square. Okay. All right. Then the one I use, this is my this is my favorite, and I've had it for years. I've had mine years and years, you guys, and uh, stuff, but I love it. And so this one is the Shape Cut Plus. The last one was Shape Cut. This is the Shape Cut Plus, and this one goes from 12 up here 12 this way to 18 this way it's a 12 by 18 okay and so uh do mine let's do mine plus mine plus for the shape cut plus and they are 55.99 55.99 not that much more than the than the uh 12 inch squares so if you have depends on what size how much room you've got you guys but this one is very handy. Okay. So $55.99 and it's mine plus. And it's 12 by 18. Okay. So there's the rulers. Okay. What do you got? We're just going to have to go with what slides he can find and put up, y'all. <laughs> so we'll, I don't know what order we're in. Okay. Okay. So somebody asked last week about the labels and I have some labels that I'm going to show y'all tonight and I've got some really good ideas for you and um, believe it or not. And so uh, this one is a stayer pen. Okay. So do y'all know what a stayer pen is? It's, it's the permanent pens. You don't want to use a permanent pen on your fabric, but the stayer pen is made to write on fabric, okay? So this is a Stayer permanent marker. This one is a 0.5 in brown, okay? This is in brown. So if you're going to do your tags, do them, in, do them in this, okay? And I like the brown better than I do the black. Don't ask me why. I just always have done brown instead of black. So uh, another thing that this is really good for, if you are drawing out your um pattern to do an, an embroidery then use these pins and it just does a very fine line on there a very fine line and you can um stitch over it okay so janice janice uh, russell came in and got these and and she loves them and we that's how i do all mine all mine too is with the pins so uh, i actually use these instead of the stayer, but they're all the same. Okay. So the stayer is $3.99 and it's called, and you would comment mine stayer. And if you want some for a stocking, someone else's stocking or whatever, put times two or three or how many ever you want, you guys, they're $3.99 a piece. Okay. All right. So there's that. Okay. So then the next one, we have the 0.01. Okay. So these are called Micron, and this is the 01 for 01. Micron 01. Okay, so this is called archival ink, and it does not come out of fabric either, and it will not bleed. And so that's what that's what you guys want. You don't want to put use a permanent pen on the back because if you put that in the wash, it very well may bleed, and you certainly don't want black marker all over your your quilt. So this um, Micron pen is great. And this is what I use. Okay. This is how I do all my labels, all my name tags, all my um, stuff to do embroidery with. Anything that I put on my light box, I use this. All right. 
Okay, so that's a point one, and I'll show you uh, point zero one, sorry. Uh, and I'll show you the next one. Well, go back. Okay, so this was $3.99, and it's mine M01, M01. Okay. Okay, so the next one um, is the very, the outside is the very same pen like this, but it, you would comment mine 005. Okay, so 005 has a, and you won't be able to see it on here, a very, very fine tip. It's a 20 millimeter tip where the, the 01 has 25 millimeter. This one is the 005, probably would be better to do your embroidery stuff with and this these are brown okay these are a brown so micron m005 and if you guys have never um ever used these you'll love them i've had one and it's lasted forever so one of these probably will last you for i don't know i've had mine for several years so uh, i just use them for name tags and stuff like that so okay so that's the two pins so Okay, then we have the Pigma set. Uh oh. What? Oh, mine M O O. Okay. So. Okay, sorry, you guys. My the the single pen. Let's do. What do you want to do? Let's do M S zero zero five. For micron single zero zero five, okay, MS zero zero five on the micron single, and that was for the zero zero five. Okay. Oh, Rhonda, yeah. Okay, Rhonda, I'll remember you want the MS zero zero five. Okay, gotcha. They are really great pins. Okay. Now we have the uh, Micron, and this is also 005, okay? So mine 005, this is a, a, a whole set. And so if you can see at the bottom of the, of the slide there, you've got black, blue, turquoise, red, purple, and brown, okay? Um, Pigma ink is archival quality on paper, it's waterproof, chemical resistant, fade resistant, uh, bleed free, quick drying, and pH neutral. Okay, ideal for fine detailing, detail and sketching, drawing, and illustration. So these are great for doing your labels. The same thing if you want different labels. So on your label, you can do your. Um, you, say you're going to take your brown and you're going to put, you know, from you know, two to Brinkley from Nana and Papa, and you write all that out, and you may want to do a heart. Well, you've got your different colors to do do your heart in, and then you could stitch around it, or you could color it, or you could color pencil, or you could use your ink, your pens. So different colors in this, and um, so you've got six assorted colors, and this one's $17.99, $17.99, and you're getting six pens, okay? So that's mine M005. All right. Turkey. Pardon? Oh, the turkey. Okay. Okay. This is the whole country caboodle, which I've showed you whole country caboodle before, but I absolutely love their stuff. You guys, some of it is, some of it we have patterns and some of it is pre-cut. Okay. So these are laser cut. And this one, the whole country caboodle has all the, all the different pieces, all the different fabrics in there. Okay, so I, I put mine together and I stitched it on the machine and I've got, I don't have it put in anything yet, but I would probably do a table runner or maybe a wall hanging out of, out of mine. But I just took a piece of grunge. Okay, I took a piece of grunge and, whoops, go this way. And then I just ironed them on on this piece of grunge. There you go. Thank you, Bill. And then I took my machine and I did a blanket stitch around them. So a really fast blanket stitch. And then I put little Google eyes. And I think, are the little Google eyes in here? I think the little Google eyes are actually in there. So maybe not. I may have got those. I'm not sure. 
anyways, isn't that cute? I love the fabrics. They're very, they're very fall, but see how bright, see how bright they are? I just love it. I think he's so cute, Mr. Turkey. And it's only $15.99, y'all. $15.99, and they've done all the cutting. All you gotta do is iron it together. And uh, you know, if you make a if you make a picture out of it, you won't, you're not gonna wash it. You wouldn't even have to stitch it down if you didn't want to. I stitched it because I like the I like the look of the stitching, but you could do a pillow, you could do the table runner, you could do whatever you wanted with it. I think it's really cute. All right, so the whole country caboodle, $15.99, and it's mine turkey. Mine turkey. Okay. All righty. Okay. So that's that. If you guys have any questions, let us know. All right. We didn't get that one yet. I'll oh. take. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit. Let, let me tell you a little secret about labels. Okay. This is this label. Okay. So it's hard to see some of the stuff. I don't know if you can blow that up. Well, that's okay. I'll just undo this one and show them um, kind of what, what we got. All right. You guys, let's. So can you take that? Yeah. See how big they are? They're they're pretty they're pretty good size. So if you look, um, that's that's the repeat. Okay. So if you look compared to my hand, that's like a little less than my hand. Okay. So there's one side that's got the coffee cups and the shoes and all kinds of really pretty colors. And then here's the other side. Can you see them? Okay. So here's the other. Do I have them straight? Yeah. Flowers and I probably should have got the overhead camera on this one. Okay. So that's the that's the tags that's on this one. So this is a good this is an idea for you guys. And Elaine, Elaine gave me this hint. So if you'll get these and you'll cut them up and um what do you want? Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. He's telling me stuff as I'm going. Okay. So if you guys will take these, they're, I mean, they're a good size. They're about the size of my hand. And so if you take them and cut them up and just sew a backing onto it or paint them, you can make name tags. All right. So what, you know, you can do the name tags and, or do the, do the labels and put them on the back of your quilt, of course. And I would just cut them in between. There's plenty of fabric in between. Cut them, turn them under, and sew it down, and then put them as labels. But you can also make them name tags. So for quilt retreats or, um, quilt, you know, if you've got a quilt guild and you need a uh, tag, then all you got to do is cut these up, have them have the micron pins there and then have them put their name on it okay and so great great name tags and just safety pin them on okay all right so they're a good deal let's see how many we've got one two three four three four five six seven eight nine we got a but there's a bunch of those what is that 36 nine times four mm -hmm. so 36 labels on one on one panel Okay, 36 labels. So if you had 50 at your retreat, you're going to need two, two panels of that. Okay, so that one is really pretty colors. Okay, let me show you some more here. Okay, these are out of the browns and turquoises, which, again, I love. And, uh, yeah, let's do the overhead. And you can see how big. Oops, let's go this way. Okay. All right, you guys. Isn't that cute? Look at the little got hedgehog guy. Got the shoes, got a buckle, got a bow, a gift. But wouldn't those be really cute? Be cute on the back of your quilt, but also a be cute name tag. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me hang on just a second. Let's see what's on this side. There's a bird and an owl and the tomato pin cushion. 
got all kinds of flowers and dots and very cute. All right. Don't have a whole lot of that one left. So tell us how many panels you want. Those are $8.99. And that one's mine brown. Mine brown. Remind them that we're going to spin the wheel tonight for last week's winner. Oh, okay, you guys. I, so don't leave because we we are going to spin the uh, wheel tonight for last week's winner. So what we decided to do, put me back on my face, please. Um, what we decided to do starting last week is if you was here last week, you guys all got put in the spinning wheel or in the wheel of fortune. If you shared. If you shared, yes, you got to share. So you guys get to share it. So if you shared, you got put in the Wheel of Fortune. And then we're going to do it this week. So if you're here, if you're on, you can claim your prize. If you're not on, then we'll go on and spin till we find somebody that was on last week on this week. All right. So, yeah. So stay with us. Okay. Which one are we doing now? Oh, right, there's, oh the there's the rulers. <laughs> there's the rulers we didn't know we had. Well, we need Whitney. Okay. All right. So now we have black and white. So black and white pretty much goes with everything, right? Everything. I think this one would work with everything. So look again, how big, I mean, my hand is, that goes my whole hand. It's pretty big. So you can take and cut this at the side and turn it and hem it, or you can put another piece on the back and then sew it and flip it. So this one says, stitch with love four, and you've got some lines made just for you, specially handmade. So let's see, take this out and see what all's on here. Okay, one of a kind. We've got, this one is says love, a blank, specially handmade, sewn in for sewn for you from the heart, sewn by, sewn by and for. And so it's stitched in love. And so this one's got lots of really cute. This one is more labels. I don't think you could use these as name tags. Some of them you could. These, there, there are a few that you could use uh, for name tags. Okay. And let's see what's on this side. Let's my tape there. Uh, let's Get it down there. There you go. So see all those, you guys? Aren't those cute? So a nice a nice label if you don't want to have to do yours. And there's plenty on here that you can use for uh, several quilts. Okay? All right. So that one's Mine Black, and it's $8.99. Mine Black. Oh, okay. All right. This one would be a great name tag. Um panel but and it's also a good label okay so you've got lots of um oh that's not very bright so bill's picture looks better looks more like it than this does it's not getting it's like it's shadowed so this looks shadowed to me but if you look at his picture put your picture back up honey okay so there you see it all the little uh, stuff in between right in here is little tiny red pin dots. Okay. So this all in between is little red pin dots. It's really cute. It's just very tiny. So it's hard to see. So this one's got the turquoise, the green, the gray, uh, the red and the black. So you've got lots of different colors, lots of different sizes and shapes uh, to do your, your tags with. Okay. So name tags or, or labels, either one. Okay, I think we have, oh, Mine Multi, sorry, Mine Multi, and it's $8.99. Okay, this is the last one. So this is all the labels that uh, that we have, the label panels, okay? Uh, this one is Baby, Baby Jane Scarlet, and it's got all kinds of cute, look at these little babies. These are all longer. Now, this one is side sideways and this one, but a lot of these are longer, like this, okay. These would also be a good bookmark if you wanted to uh, do something in the back, you know, put a fabric on the back and just flip them, be a great bookmark. You could put a little batting in between and pink the edges if you wanted to, and then you could write, um, write 
a sentiment to your to your friends. All right. So this one is okay. It looks like the front's the same as the back. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, okay. So that one is mine scarlet. Mine scarlet, and it's eight ninety nine. Okay. So that's all our name tags. So thank you. Was I don't know who asked last last week, but uh, that's the labels for the quilts, and we've showed you the pins. Pardon? Sunflowers? Oh. Okay. Um, do we have the five inch? No. Nope. Okay. So we have sunflowers. We have the five inch squares. I don't have them with me. Uh, the five inch are charms. Okay. So the charms, there's 40 in a package. I believe there's 40 in these. Let's see. 42. 42. So 42 pieces in the package, and you can see the pieces all right there. Colors are very, very pretty. I, I love the fall. It's one of my favorite. I love the colors of the fall, but they're the colors in these are just gorgeous. So this one's called Flowers of the Sun. Flowers of the Sun. And the five-inch squares are $13.99. $13.99. And you would comment mine flowers. And if you guys want, you know, if you're going to do more like a rag quilt or something and you need more than one package, be sure and put times two or three or four. If you're going to do a um, like lap quilt with, with charms and it's going to be a rag, you're going to probably want at least four packages. Okay. At least four packages. So the tenant, now we have the tenant squares and this one's mine sun. And, um, a lot of people do the rag quilts with these. You can do, there's so many different patterns that you can do with the layer cakes. So these are 10 inch squares, 42 of them, and they're $42.99, $42.99. And these, um, if you do the rag, one, one package will do it. If you want to do the double slice layer cake, that very simple. It's a double slice, pretty much. And I can show you how to do that. Maybe I'll do that demo. Um, so many different patterns, you guys. We've got tons of patterns for the tenant squares. Or you can just sew them together, six across, seven down, and make a beautiful quilt. So, okay. Flowers of the Sun, $42.99. Mine Sun. All right. Since it's fall. Oh, and we're not going to do the jelly rolls? Okay. Well... We don't, we don't have this as a slide, but I'm going to show you. This is the jelly roll, Flowers of the Sun. So if you want this, then put uh, mine, J-R, J-R, Sun. Mine, J-R, Sun. That's Jelly Roll Sun, okay? And they're, again, 42 jelly rolls. And jelly rolls are two and a half inch, y'all. Two and a half inch strips like what we cut in the first of the show. And it is... $40.99. Okay, now we get to flannel. So if you guys are like my guys, when I make quilts, they always all fight over the flannel, the flannel and the minky. That's what they want, flannel and minky. So these, these are some flannels. This is the um, all plaid. Most of them are plaids. Yeah, they're all plaids. All, all different shades of plaids show you all the different colors of plaids. They're beautiful. And um, all in flannels, $13.99. $13.99, y'all, for Mine Charm. Mine Charm, five-inch squares. And there is 42. 42 of them, okay? All right. Then we have the layer cakes. Same, same thing as all the if I can get the colors up again, it doesn't like to, it doesn't like to fold down for the colors and we don't have the breakout of these. So, but all kinds of really pretty plaids and y'all, we have other plaids, several plaids in the store um, that will go with these. So you can put these together in border. If you need a border and binding and backing, we've got you covered with flannels. Okay. So these are $49.99, 42 10 inch squares, mine cake, mine cake. And they're, those are both flannel, okay? 
where the sun, the flowers of the sun was cotton. Okay, now we're back to cotton again. Okay, these are five inch squares. And how many people love the gnomes? I love the gnomes. They're very popular. And um, you can see all the different pieces. They've got all the different backgrounds. They've got some uh, plaids, some checks and stuff in there. You see all the gnomes and all the Christmassy. Oh, it's so cute. Had lots of people. There's some with hats on them. Lots of people have come in. And I've got the fabric line of this too. So if you don't want pre-cuts and you want fabric, come in. I've got fabric line. Or if you want a certain thing, just let me know and we can um, get your borders and binding and backing with it. All right. So five inch squares, 42 piece, and it's $13.99. And it's mine G5, G5, gnomes, five inch. Okay. And then we have them in 10 inch. Okay. So the gnome 10 inch. And that's um, the, this says, oh, okay. 42 piece, 42 piece. And it's $42.99. Mine G10. G10. Gnomes 10. Okay. Pardon? Okay. And again, if you want something to go with those gnomes, holler because we didn't get that in the lineup and we've got the uh, yardage to that. All right. So how many, you know, everything right now, numbers are really, really popular. So there's the numbers. Got lots of, unpin this so you can see a little better. Lots of, lots of numbers. Okay. And I think this would be a, I don't know, I think it'd make a good scoreboard on a football quilt or a soccer or something like that. I think the backing, I think anything that's got the print on it. Um, I don't know. I love this. This is a, is this Tim Holtz? Yes. It's a Tim Holtz. I can tell his fabric. I just love his stuff. It's all, um, I don't know, it's very masculine. And I like those masculine looking quilts. So um, anyways, there's the numbers. This is a 45 inch and it's $12.99 a yard. $12.99 a yard. So if you want more than one yard, be sure and put times how many yards you want. Okay. And that's my numbers, my numbers. So Tim Holtz, we've, if you didn't know, we started carrying Tim Holtz and we've had it for probably a couple months now. And we've got several of his, we've probably got four banks of his uh, fabrics now. And I, uh, I love his stuff. Yeah, we may do a Tim Holtz show. <laughs> okay, this is Subway Signs in Charcoal. So this is all signs that you would find on the subway. All right. Fourth Avenue. Kings Highway, uh, Coney Island Bay, all kinds, all kinds of different stuff on there. Metropolitan, Times Square, Coney Island. So I love, I love these, and it's all kind of black. It's not grunge, but it looks scraped like grunge does in the background. So it's almost like a chalkboard looking in the background. I love that too. So this is twelve ninety nine a yard, and it's mine Subway, mine Subway. Okay. All right, is that it? Yeah. No. Okay. We're going to spin the wheel. Oh, that's it. So now we're ready to spin the wheel. So we need to you guys be sure and share so you can be in. And when you share, then we're going to spin the wheel for you guys that are on tonight next week. And so be back next week, and then you claim your prize. So what we're spinning for tonight was the ones that was on last week, and then they will claim. And it's a $21 gift card. It's a $21 gift card because you guys, we had 21 shares last week. So somebody's going to get $21. Yeah. Hey, free money. That's always good, isn't it? I like free money. I like gift cards. Okay. So you need to tell them tonight we had as many as 50 plus watchers. Okay, we had like 50 plus watchers tonight. But, so if everybody will share, if everybody shares, then it will be a 50 plus gift card. Okay. So, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't want my ceiling falling in on me. <laughs> okay. All right. So, 
his contacts and call information. Okay. Hang on, y'all. We need drama music right here. Be like the movies. Need some drama. Carmen says, yay. Oh, <laughs> our, our deal fell down. I was trying to cover the light up because it was giving me a reflection. Okay. I'll play some sound effects here. Good thing here. But we're not going to Bill's trying to get some sound effects. We're going to do it off camera, but. Oh, oh, okay, y'all. We don't have Whitney, so they don't know how to get the, the wheel on camera. So he's going to. Well, it's kind of down in the... Okay, he just spun it. Okay, so who, who did it land on? Let's see. And the winner is... Who is it? Yeah, it is. Hurry. Everybody wants to know. Kathy Turner. Are you on? Okay, Kathy, are you on? If you're on, comment and let us know. So you uh, will win, was it 21? $21. So Kathy Turner. Okay, if you're on, Kathy, let us know. Uh, you just have a minute or so because if you're not on, then we'll spin for another one. Okay, is she answering? Oh, Kathy. She did? Did she? Oh, okay. Oh, she is. Yay. Good job. Okay. So Kathy wins $21. Kathy, I will uh, text you or email you your code. And, um, and who won the, who won the, who? Oh, Debbie Rice. That's right. And Debbie, I'll text you your code too for the uh, trivia. So you guys, we're going to have trivia every week and we're going to do the, uh, spin the wheel spin. Sorry, we couldn't get that on the deal. We'll get Whitney back. She's at a meeting. She knows how to do all this stuff behind the scenes, you guys. So we're all just novice. <laughs> okay, you guys. I think that's all I have for tonight. And um, we, huh? Oh yeah. Well, we're not too organized without Whitney, but we're getting there. We just all have to learn. Such as live TV, huh? So, okay, well, you guys have a great uh, week and weekend and be getting ready for Thanksgiving. Think of all the things that you're thankful for. I think of all the things that I'm thankful for every day. And um, we will see you next week. Give us some real quick. Give us some oh. ideas for a demo next week. Oh, if you guys want to give me some ideas for a demo next week, comment. comment and I will be glad to demo anything you want. All right, you guys have a good week. Bye now. Oh. <laughs> Am I still on?